Hey, you! If you meet a beautiful, seductive woman who's looking for me, tell her hi. Anyway, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. <laughs> well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Earthbound. Uh, since the last episode, I didn't do a whole lot. I just went ahead and stopped by the hospital to get Jeff, uh, not Jeff, Ed. <laughs> Jeff is his default name. Uh, I got him revived, and uh, which wasn't too bad. It was only $150, and we do have quite a bit of money at this point. Uh, does it pop up? Yeah, we got $15,402, and that's not even counting what's in the bank account at the moment. So we are plenty good on health right now. And uh, also just healed up at the, ho at the hotel since I was just there and I was out of PP. So I figured I might as well do that. Anyways, we're heading into the bar, uh, or as it was translated into in English, it's a cafe. Uh... A caffeine buzz, huh? <laughs> yeah, you can kind of tell where they, they translated things, like references to alcohol, uh, for the English translation. Because uh, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure in the Japanese version, this actually was a bar rather than a cafe. I mean, it does look like a bar. It doesn't really look like a cafe. Uh, cafes don't tend to be kind of dingy like this. Uh, and this guy has nothing for us, but he has a quiz. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Four... Was that supposed to be a joke? I mean, speaking of translations, was that like a joke that, that was lost in translation, possibly? Uh, and this guy used to be Monotoli's boss. Uh, by the way, the reason we're here is because an NPC at one point told us Monotoli was here. Uh, and to recap from the past couple episodes, our uh, friend Katie was kidnapped by a monster in the department store. And it turns out that Monotoli has her. Uh, I think the monster that kidnapped her told us that after we defeated him or something like that. Uh... But, yeah, Monotoli comes here fairly often, and our best bet to find out clues as to what he's up to is by coming here. Uh, nobody's really saying anything at this point in time, but apparently there's a commotion outside, so let's go ahead and head out here and see what's going on. And, oh, look, it's our old friend, uh, Everdread. Uh, and if we go ahead and talk to this guy over here... Uh, oh, wait, no, this guy back here, maybe? Uh, there's somebody you can talk to. Because uh, you're supposed to be able to sneak in there. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? Okay, let's see what I can give him. Um, I can give you a cup of coffee. Uh, I was kind of worried I wouldn't have anything to, for him to, to take. Because uh, I think he needs a food item, possibly. But anyways, Everdread is laying on the ground right here. But uh, he's wheezing, and uh, I don't know if he's like dying or something. I don't know how he ended up over here in Foresight on the ground behind the cafe. Uh, <clears throat> yes, we do remember you. And uh, he's telling us Carpenter was hiding something in Happy Village. Uh, happy Happy Village, and he stole it, and uh, apparently it was uh, taken from him. Uh, Monotoli took it from him, so yeah, now we know that Monotoli has the Mani Mani statue, uh, which, as you'll remember, uh, I, I'll recap this because it has been a while since the first couple episodes of the series, but... Uh, that was first found by Liar Exaggerate uh, over by Onet. Uh, he unearthed it, and then eventually uh, Mr. Carpenter... Oh, I didn't mean to hit yes. Oops. Uh, okay, well, I'll keep talking anyway. Uh, but anyways, uh, Mr. Carpenter from Happy Happy Village got a hold of it. And basically, it seems to uh, influence people's thoughts in an evil way. Uh, it is possible it might be connected to Gygus. Uh, who is, of course, the evil entity that's trying to destroy the world or whatever. Uh, we don't really hear much directly from him because he's kind of like a pure evil entity that we don't... You, you don't really, like, interact with him. But anyways, uh, no, we're not going to hear it again. I'll actually pay attention and hit no this time. kind of wish you'd say no by default. Uh, he's got a little haiku poem for us. When on your way out, be sure that you say goodbye, then lock the door tight. Uh, don't follow me. He's on his way. I think this is the last we see of him. Anyway, he gets up and he just kind of runs off. Uh, he actually seems to be okay. I, I think he was kind of faking it or something. Uh, he made some kind of advance of those two ladies over there. But everybody kind of disperses after that. And uh, now we can walk. Don't you feel better since you had the chance to talk to with your friend? Uh, I helped you find him. Uh, <laughs> no, I already saw him there. I don't think he really helped that much. Uh, but now we know we definitely need to find Mr. Monotoli. Uh, obviously, we can't get into the building because we couldn't get past... Uh, where Pokey was and the guards and the, the special elevator and whatnot. Uh, but if we check this little area in the back of the cafe, uh, something strange happens. Something really strange indeed. And all of a sudden, colors and stuff, and I don't even know how to describe what's going on. There's a fire that's moving around. No, that's right. I am the host here. O okay, uh, let's go ahead and fight this little fire on the ground. 
which turns out to be a Robo Pump. Uh, this is an enemy you do want to take out pretty quickly. Uh, well, I guess it really doesn't matter how quickly. No, wait, no, I was right in the first place. Uh, because you'll see that it counts down, and when it gets to zero, I believe it explodes, and it'll take itself out, but it'll also damage you. Uh, and we're down to our last turns, hoping to take it out. I didn't think it had that much health. There we go. I couldn't quite remember if it worked more like the uh, Territorial Oak that we fought way back in Peaceful Rest Valley, where it, after you defeated it, it blew up, but it looks like it actually just counts down and then blows up. Uh, and people are saying really strange stuff, uh, and apparently we're not in Foresight anymore, we're in Moonside. Uh, and then there's one more lady over here, and then yes is no, and no is yes. That's something we want to keep in mind uh, if we get asked a question. Make sure you remember that yes is no, and no is yes. Uh, and we can go ahead and skip these enemies, and we're walking super slow here. I don't know if that's because of the emulator slowing down or what. Oh, okay, and there is a new enemy back here. It's a uh, enraged fire plug. Isn't that a fire hydrant? I don't think I've ever heard it referred to as a fire plug before. Uh, I keep trying this HP sucker, but it's never worked yet, so I don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, but we're gonna go for PSI boom and try and do a whole bunch of damage if we can. Uh, HP sucker. Drain 34 HP. Okay, so it actually did something this time. Ow! Ow! That hits two enemies? Ow, that really hurts. Okay. Uh, let's just go for another boom there, and then I think after this we're probably just gonna try avoiding enemies, because we do, of course, as is typical, we have a boss fight at the end of all this. Uh, so there goes the fire plug, uh, and then the robo, the robo pump is not gonna actually attack us, it's just gonna keep counting down. And there we go, okay. Uh, and I'm not sure if you can actually run into butterflies in this area. And I don't think, oh, you know, I really should have stocked up on healing items. Uh, I did not even think about that. Okay, so uh, healing alpha should be fine. And we really want to conserve our PP in here. Uh, anyways, we can talk to a couple of the people around here. They have some interesting things to say. Do you understand all of that? All of this? Yes, I do. No? No, you don't? Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I think maybe the slowdown was just, ooh, there's something weird up there. I think the slowdown might have been the emulator just trying to keep up because there is some wacky stuff going on over here. Uh, these dudes that look kind of like surfer dudes, you don't want to talk to them just yet. Uh, tell you what I hate in this world, that's pizza. Oh, this guy hates pizza. <laughs> I don't know how you can hate pizza. Pizza's like the best thing in the world. Uh, anyways, yeah, you don't want to talk to these guys just yet. Uh, but we, we, I guess we're fighting this enemy over here. Which is the Dolly's Clock, which is obviously based off of Salvador Dolly's, uh, famous painting that has like the melting clocks in it and stuff. Uh, yeah, all sorts of really strange enemies here, and it froze me in time. Oh, I guess that's like a double hit attack? Hmm, that's interesting. Luckily it doesn't have too much health, although we do probably want to heal up after this. But yeah, I really should have stocked up on healing items, I didn't even think of that. I mean, especially since we're down a PSI user, uh, since we don't have Katie, although we should be getting her back. Uh, maybe not in this, this episode, but the next one. Uh, but we do talk to these surfer dudes, they say hello, and goodbye, and bloop, we get teleported somewhere else. In this case, it's just teleported me to one that's just a little bit south of this guy. Uh, and I think there are some barriers you can just barely see. So you can't get anywhere in Forestside, and you can't, like, you know, explore the entire world of Earthbound looking like this. Uh, but yeah, and this guy down here, I will first send you first, and then, then you second to the hospital. Uh, this is actually the guy you want to talk to to get you through the area. Uh, and now we're in the hospital, there's a painting here, we better fight that. Uh, otherwise it's gonna sneak attack us. The abstract art. It looks like a moon with a green nose and a snowman in a poncho. That's what I think it looks like. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm guessing this guy isn't too tough either. Uh, yeah, there we go, just a couple hits to take it out, which is good because we do want to save our PSI. Uh, you know what I also should have gotten? I should have gotten big bottle rockets. We're going to have some trouble with this boss fight coming up, I'm sure. I'm probably going to save state before we actually fight it. Uh, just in case I lose, I don't want to go all the way back. Because uh, I'm not sure where we're going to be sent to. Uh, we don't need any help with the hospital, so we'll say yes, because yes is no. Uh, you got to keep track of that, remember. Uh, no, we don't need to be examined. Uh, I probably shouldn't even bother talking to these guys. Uh, so anyways, heading in here, there's a lady over here. and Oh, she's just reminding us that yes means no, and no means yes. Uh, but we were already told that, but they, I guess the game just wanted to remind you. Uh, I'm not busy right now, so I'll explain about the hospital system. Uh, yes, uh, she actually is pretty busy. And if we head out this way... Um, I think we need to walk back down and find that guy again. Uh, oops, I guess we're fighting this painting. And like he said, he was going to send us first to the hospital, and then second... 
I, th I think he sends us somewhere else this time. No. Okay. Okay, there was something else you need to do. I don't remember what it was, though. Huh. Well, this guy... I, I Yeah, because I can't quite remember what you do in this area. Uh, I think maybe we need to find another one of those guys. Uh, this is where we need to be. Uh, the Manny Manny statue is up ahead, but I'm going to stop you right here. Don't even think about getting past me, because you aren't with a guy whose eyebrows are connected and who also has a gold tooth. So we have to find somebody with connected eyebrows and a gold tooth. And I mean, this place is pretty weird, so I'm sure we'll run into somebody like that eventually. How about I sharpen you? I just love sharpening. You don't want me to sharpen? Saidim unsi dimun welk welk om welk om one. What? <laughs> uh, I guess we got to fight that guy. And I got to figure out where we go from here, because there's another guy you have to get teleported by. I just don't remember which one it is. Uh, so I guess we're gonna bounce around and talk to a couple of these guys and see where we end up. Because I know there's like a there's a one you need to talk to, and it, it starts like a long string of them. Uh, like, you'll go from one to the other, and there's, like, only one way to go from there. I just don't quite remember which one it is. Because this is the guy we talked to before, right? Because uh, he sends us to the hospital. We're already at the hospital. I could have sworn this was where you were supposed to be, but obviously it's not. Because we talked to everybody in here, and there wasn't something you were supposed to do here. Uh, it's just that guy's dialogue. I will send you first, and then send you second. I was trying to figure out what that meant. Uh, what happens if we go in the hotel? Is it just, like, a regular hotel? Uh, that phone is dancing. Okay, I didn't know if there was something you're supposed to pick up there. Hi, how are you doing for the look of things? I would say not so good. Do you need anything? Oh, okay, so we can stock up a bit on healing items here. I think we should probably do that. Uh, double burger is the best we can get, so let's go ahead and give a couple of those to Ed. Uh, oh, and I meant to get some more. I forgot that yes means no. Uh, but yeah, let's get a couple of double burgers. Let's give one to each uh, Ben and Ed. Uh, and actually, let's get one more real quick. I, I just want to make sure we're topped up on the uh, healing items there. Uh, just to be sure. I, I don't want to run out of PSI. Uh, oops, and I hit no there on accident. I don't want to run out of PSI and be in some serious trouble uh, not being able to heal or anything like that. So I want to make sure we have some healing items and some options for healings because we do have a fairly difficult boss fight coming up here. And um, I do have to figure out where the heck we're going now. Uh, there is an invisible wall. I can't actually see it. I could have sworn you were able to see that. Uh, that might just be a quirk of the emulator. I wonder if you can actually see it in the actual game. Okay, and then there's another enemy down here, and he just kind of phased through that guy. Okay, there's a level up. I I don't really always show the level ups uh, now, but I do kind of sometimes show them just so you guys know uh, approximately what level we're at. And I suppose maybe at the beginning of every episode, or every couple episodes, I could show that off. Uh, just in case you're playing along, you kind of want to know what level I'm at and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, anyways, let's try talking to a couple more of these guys. I don't think we've gotten to these ones. Maybe we have. Yeah, we've been up here before. Um, hmm. Okay, so that's where the Monotoli building was. I think that's the Monotoli building. There's a present over here. We haven't been over here yet, but there's an invisible wall over here. So we can't get to that present. Uh, can we get to that dude over there? No, we can't. We can get to this one, though. Uh, let's see if he can teleport us over to the dude over there, maybe. Uh, yeah, so I think this is the, the string of, uh, of, of dudes that you're supposed to kind of follow along. Uh, we can avoid that clock, talk to this guy, uh, and I think this will lead us to kind of a trail of a couple of these. Uh, and there is a magic butterfly over there, and we were definitely going to heal up Ed here because he is super low in health. I think we're going to go for a healing, uh, gamma just to be sure. Uh, oh, we can't get to that. Butterfly! Okay, I guess we'll talk to this guy, and hopefully he sends us right over to that guy over there. Uh, so we can get that butterfly, that'd be nice. Oh, but it's gone! Well, that's kind of disappointing. And also, we were just down here, weren't we? Yeah, because we got that present. So, I guess this one just sends us back and forth. Uh, can, you go, can we go anywhere up here? I guess that one just gets you to the present, maybe, huh? Okay. Unless there was... No, wait, let's go back down there again, because I, I know there was a chain of these guys. Uh, at some point, I might end up just cutting this out so I can figure out where I'm going. Uh, okay, and that, that block that for us, and let's see here. No, there's nowhere else we can go this way, I don't think. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Okay, and I gotta heal up myself again. And I think I'm just gonna cut until I figure out where the heck I'm going, and then I'll meet you guys when I found the, uh, the guy I'm supposed to use to teleport. So I will be right back. Okay, so that one took us somewhere different. There's a new present over here. Ooh, the Knight Pendant. 
Uh, since Ed has lower HP, let's go ahead and give that to him. And go ahead and equip that. That should up his defense a little bit. Uh, we'll see how well that does. It's an upgrade to the Great Charm. It ups his defense by 14, so that's pretty nice. And then we also already had the Great Charm, so we're good uh, there. Do we really not have a better weapon? I feel like we probably missed an upgrade at some point. Uh, or maybe not, because I was at the department store and there wasn't anything new there. Uh, we are getting a little bit low on PSI, but luckily I picked up those hamburgers. Because uh, we probably do want to use offensive PSI in the boss battle coming up. But anyways, uh, this is a new area, and I think this is the chain of uh, teleports that I was talking about. And there's another present up there. If we can get past this lady over here. A country in summer and a big silver ball. You're burnt, but you're fine. That is what I see. Uh, that's kind of a spoiler of, I think, the next area after this we're going to. The handbag strap. What does that do? I don't think I've ever seen that item before. When used as a whip during battle, the enemy takes enough damage to stop moving for a short time. Ooh, that might actually be useful for this boss battle coming up. Uh, I did kind of want to give it to uh, Ed there, but let's go ahead and get the... Um, get the Great Charm. Uh, we'll sell that at some point, but I'm going to put it in my inventory for now. And then, uh, just because I'm the PSI user, I want to make sure that Ed has any items we want to be using. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to him. And then after that, I think we want to talk to this guy. And then that'll teleport us somewhere else. Uh, and there's a lady up here. Before the soup gets cold, we must care for Mani Mani. Before the knife gets rusty, we must care for Mani Mani. Uh, okay, and then there's another present, a secret herb. Uh, and then this guy, hello and goodbye. Shall I? Of course we want to say no because that means yes. And this guy, who looks a little bit different than the other surfer dudes, is going to send us away. Uh, and here we see uh, this guy over here. I'm really busy doing nothing, so I don't have time to talk to you. If you need something, talk to my partner. He's right over there. See? You mean you can't see him? Uh, actually, I can kind of see him. Can you see me? No, which means yes. Uh, okay, and I guess that's it. I, okay. <laughs> and I think the... Oh. How do we get out of here? Is there, is there a door somewhere? That's not the door. How do we get out of here? You're looking for some kind of door. Oh, well, you're not going to find one. So get out of my face, loser. I have no patience when people interrupt me while I'm busy doing nothing. <laughs> okay, and then all of a sudden we're teleported to, I think, the hotel over here. Uh, and there's an invisible guy following us now, apparently. And I guess he's not going to help us when he fights. And since we are back at the hotel, I think I might go ahead and heal real quick. One sleep period. Uh, yes, we do want to sleep. Ooh, that's a creepy sounding <laughs> noise to wake up to. Uh, good morn, uh, not morning. Uh, it's always middle of the night in Moonside. Mani Mani is always Mani Mani at Mani Mani with all Mani Mani Mani. Alrighty, so continuing on. Uh, don't you wish you had a gold tooth like mine? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and head out. Now we need to figure out where that one guy was that we needed to teleport uh, back over because uh, obviously this guy has uh, connected eyebrows and a gold tooth, even though we can't even see him, but. Uh, we'll take his word for it. Apparently he has those things. Uh, and that is obviously what we need to get past the, the dude to get to the Mani Mani statue. And we just need to find the right surfer up here. I'm just going to take this one because I don't want to fight that painting over there. Uh, although we did just heal up so we should be okay. And I feel like this is the way we went just a second ago. Yeah. Can we just walk straight up there? I'm guessing there's probably an invisible barrier. Yeah. Okay. Um... That painting is jumping around a bit. Uh, let's see here. Can we get up here and then walk around? Or is there an invisible barrier up this way too? Yep, invisible barrier. <laughs> That's a little bit annoying. Alright, well we're going to take this guy. He's going to bring us back to the hotel. And then we'll try and figure out which guy to talk to from there. Uh, can we get out of this room again? I hope so. Uh, Alright, so this guy will get us teleported out of this, this room with no door. And then... I'm going to cut once again until I find the right person to teleport me uh, back to where we need to be, so I'll be right back. Okay, I guess you don't need to teleport because there is actually a way down here and you can actually see the invisible wall on this side. Uh, so I don't know, you, you can't see it in some places but you can see it in other places. Uh, but anyways, uh, we do have the man with the connected eyebrows and the gold tooth even though we can't see them. How about we dump these kids and go get something to drink? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not technically a reference to alcohol, right? <laughs> uh, but anyways, this is apparently not Monotoli. 
but uh, I do want to go ahead and okay done I went ahead and saved my state real quick uh, just to be sure and we are I think we're topped up on health uh, let's just use a life up real quick on the edge just to be sure okay that's good that's good and I do have I am topped off on PSI uh, this is a fairly tough battle uh, so I did want to make sure we're plenty prepared for this. Uh, the evil Mani Mani statue, and let's see, can we throw anything up on our side? Uh, let's throw up a shield on Ed first, because he has lower health. Uh, let's try using the handbag strap, see if we can paralyze the evil Mani Mani for a turn or something like that. Uh, whatever the thing does, uh, it did not work. And I think that's a one-time use item, which is unfortunate. Uh, and he paralyzed Ed, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a shield up on ourselves as well. Uh, Ed can spy, I guess. <laughs> uh, normally when you're paralyzed, when your body is numb, you can still use PSI, but obviously Ed does not have PSI. And that power shield is deflecting some of the damage onto the Mani Mani statue. Oh, and it's told us some of his stats. That's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. Oh, but he's still numb, so we do need to heal that off. I, I couldn't remember if that only lasted a turn or if it lasted longer than that. Had no visible effect. Really? How do we get rid of that then? Would the secret herb do that? There we go. Okay, I was wondering. Hmm, did that get rid of our shield? That might have gotten rid of our shield. I was kind of wondering, because I was like, wait a minute. Uh, I thought I could heal it off. It might take healing Gamma, though. Gamma though. Uh, I'm just going to go for a bash with Ben. And let's use... Hmm. What do we want to use here? Because <laughs> uh, we don't really... We need some bottle rockets, honestly. But we don't have any. Let's try the slime generator. I mean, Ed really can't do much damage. Uh, yeah, that's not doing anything, though. Uh, who's he going to paralyze? Did not work. Okay, that's fine. Let's go for a PSI Boom Beta so we can actually get some damage off. And I guess we're just going to shoot with Ed. Yeah, really, really. I, I keep saying this, but I really should have picked up some uh, 5 damage. Yeah, I might as well just keep using, try and keep using items even though they're not really working. Uh, and let's go for another Boom Beta. And then, uh, I guess we can try the HP Sucker. But they never seem to work on bosses. But yeah, Bottle Rockets, we really should have gotten those. If you're playing this game along with me, you really need to pick up some Bottle Rockets. Uh, because they will help so much. Uh, paralysis, you're going to hit. Try and hit me again. That's fine. Uh, and I probably want to stop using those booms because I'm running out of uh, PP. Uh, but we need to use Ben as our primary offense right now because Ed can't do anything. <laughs> and there's probably not any guys to sell uh, the, the bottle rockets anywhere here. Uh, so we can't really get those. Uh, and yeah, he did, he did remove our shield, by the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the shield back up on Ed uh, just to have it. And that'll at least reflect a little bit of damage if he tries to attack us. Uh, PSI Magnet, that's a little bit annoying. Uh, but he uses that Ed, so I guess I don't mind at all. And I guess we're just going to go for offense right now, even though we're not doing too much damage. But I do want to uh, conserve my PSI for healing. Although we do have the burgers, so I don't know. Maybe we want to go for a couple of friends of attacks. Oh, and we, we became numb. Uh, so I guess we have to use PSI now. I'm going to use Life Up myself. Uh, I, I, I wish I... Hmm. Actually, you know what? No, no, it's Life Up. Let's go ahead and just go for a Boom Beta. And then uh, Ed will be on healing duty. Uh, he's only got a couple of burgers, but uh, that should be okay to keep us topped off a little bit. And that's another 247. Oh, and that's it. Okay. Uh, I could have sworn the evil Mani Mani had the ability to throw some offensive PSI at you, but... I guess we just got lucky and decided not to do any of that. Uh, but there goes a level up, so that's nice. And we defeated Evil Mani Mani. It really wasn't wasn't that bad. Uh, I think I'm probably a little higher level than I usually am at this point in the game. So I can't for sure that I can't for sure say that uh, you'll be good if you don't have bottle rockets. I would say if you're at a lower level than uh, 40, you definitely need uh, bottle rockets. But apparently it was destroyed. But I will tell you right now, that's not the last of, we'll see of it. But apparently, this whole time we were in "quote unquote" Moonside, we were actually just wandering around the uh, wandering around the basement of the cafe, uh, tripping out. So uh, that's all good now. We're all better from that. And Apple Kid is calling us with a wacky invention that has real potential. 
Uh, it's called the Gourmet Yogurt Machine. It makes many fl different flavors of yogurt. <laughs> the only problem is right now it can only make trout flavored yogurt. That's interesting, but uh, I'm guessing we're probably going to find out that trout flavored yogurt is just coincidentally the kind of yogurt we might need for something coming up. Uh, and in fact, we're actually going to find that out right now as we walk out of here. Uh, well, actually, first, oh, uh, did that monkey just explode? Uh, he's not a delivery man, uh, but he's telling us that Talarama just finished fasting and wants to meet us uh, over in the Dusty Dunes Desert in a cave of lots of monkeys. Ugh. I don't like this part of the game that's coming up. I mean, obviously, this is probably going to wait till next episode. Ugh, but I, I, this part, next part of the game is really annoying, and I'm probably going to speed through all of it. Uh, but anyways, this guy is Escargo Express's neglect, neglect, blah, 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 neglected class who uh, just got here, and yeah, and apparently he's giving us something. He forgot the stuff he was supposed to deliver, and he left it in the desert. He's not going back to get it, so don't ask me to get the package. Uh, it's your package, you would get it. <laughs> it. We definitely got what we paid for with neglected class shipping. But uh, anyways, we are going to go through the monkey cave to uh, collect our trout flavored yogurt machine. And this is the maid who serves Mr. Monitoli, and conveniently, uh, her special guest, uh, aka Pokey, happens to really love trout flavored yogurt. So we are going to be uh, fetching that machine, uh, make him some trout flavored yogurt, and that will be our key to get in to see Mr. Monitoli. But I believe that's going to all wait till next episode. Uh, my timer is up to uh, just about half an hour. Uh, we do have a little bit of wandering around and random battles to cut out though, but uh, I think in, in the end this episode will probably be about 20 to 25 minutes, so that's probably about standards. So anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, in the next episode we're probably going to speed montage through the annoying monkey cave because it is annoying. Uh, it's basically a series of uh, giving the monkeys a bunch of items to proceed through this cave, and uh, you'll see it when we get to it. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode of Earthbound.